Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. This is the AP Laser. You've probably seen it before on the show. Working hard for us doing a pretty cool project right now. We've got lots of great things to show you. Things the AP Laser can do. Automotive stuff, of course, because this is Motorhead Garage. Now, Jenny, uh, you've been at this for a long time. How'd you get started in the printing business? Well, I actually started as a screen printer several years ago, and every year we have expanded the business to embroidery, to some vinyl, uh, just looking for something else. And so we started looking at laser engraving and uh, found the AP Laser. And so when it was time to upgrade, you had a lot of lasers to choose from. Yes. What made you decide on the AP Laser over the other uh, lasers that are out there? There were a few different factors. I really liked the, uh, the sales representative that I dealt with. Shannon at AP Laser was fabulous. She spent a lot of quality time with me, um, allowed me to actually come in and test all the machines and make sure that I enjoyed them. Uh, the open architecture means that there is nothing on the underside, which is very unique and patented for AP Laser. So you can do a lot of different substrates, you can do a lot of different sizes, uh, which for me was a huge benefit. And I like the fact that they have 24-7 customer support. That was, that was huge for me being new. I wanted to know that I was going to have the help when I needed it. And I went with the smaller machine simply because of the portability standpoint on it. Uh, we have an enclosed trailer. We like to go to events and uh, make things on site to order. And so I needed something that I could pick up and load into a trailer and put in my car and you know go back and forth and, and have that flexibility and in doing that you cater to a, a motorcycle crowd recently right I do yeah so we've done some motorcycle shows we've we do Jeep shows um, so we're looking at getting into some car shows and uh, we just kind of keep expanding the horizon of the different types of shows that we go to we've done some hunting and fishing shows so again even the hunters and fishermen there's some different things that we can engrave on for them as well so I'm curious what kind of stuff did you engrave for the biker folks um, when we were there we had the ability to engrave on leathers. Oh. Uh, we did some keychains. Uh, we actually did some tumblers, some can koozies for them, but uh, hoping to kind of expand that, maybe even do some engraving on their gas tanks. Neat. So not just stuff uh, pertaining to bikes and cars, but also some actual parts too. Which Absolutely. Seen a lot of folks yeah. do. And here are some car parts as well. I see a couple familiar pieces. Yeah, so these are um, just some glove box fronts. So if somebody wants to customize a glove box, we did those you know, for our friends at jacknuts.com. And uh, so we've been able to do some of that kind of stuff. There are all kinds of materials in cars and, and that gives the AP Laser an advantage because it's so flexible. Uh, what kinds of materials can you engrave with? Absolutely. So, you know, we've done some leather. Obviously here, leather coasters are nice. Um, we've got the, the coated steels for the license plate covers. Um, we've done, you know, trophies. Again, more leather. Um, even the, the stainless steel on the tumblers, uh, the bottom, that little tumbler boot there is made out of a silicone. So really there's a, a, there's a wide array of things that we can actually engrave on. What are some of the stranger things you've, you've ever had to engrave? Um, well, we did this, this fleece blanket, which I think is very unique, not necessarily strange, but fleece is kind of a unique thing to engrave on. Um, we've, we've actually done a tombstone, which was kind of a cool project for a, for a military veteran and just a, a big array of things. Were you telling me about a pie? Oh, I did, yeah, I did a pumpkin pie one time, just, <laughs> just trying, to, trying to see what I could do. So I did the top of a pumpkin pie, and that was pretty cool. So everything from a, a stone, and you can turn right around and do a blanket or a pie. Absolutely. What gives you that flexibility with, with AP Laser? Um, I think a lot of it is the, the open platform, the open architecture of the AP Laser, and uh, just being able to adjust it. You know, the, the four legs on all corners so that I can adjust if I've got even a, a stone in the front yard. If somebody wanted a stone done, I can adjust those legs and get it on that stone and do the stone. Um, I'd love to do a hood of a car sometime. I think that'd be really cool. I just haven't had that opportunity or found the right car yet, but that would be cool. And how do you know what settings to use with your laser? Um, a lot of it's trial and error. Uh, there, there's a baseline setting for each, each machine and the power that it puts off but a lot of it is trial and error and just figuring out what's going to work. But if you can't figure it out, what resources I, do you have? I can call tech support 24 hours a day, seven days a week, literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, I've 
called them the first year I had the machine at 10.30 Christmas Eve night. Somebody picked up the phone, walked me through it, allowed me to get the project out and deliver it to the customer's doorstep so they had it for Christmas morning. So. Wow. How helpful are they at the customer support for... They're very much so. You know, um, when I first started, it was something new for me, completely different platform than what I was used to. And um, I would call them with what I thought were the silliest questions, but they were very helpful in walking me through it and getting me going on the right direction. And, um, you know, I, I've never had an issue calling customer support and asking for that help. If, if you get their voicemail, they're pretty good about calling you back within about an hour, depending on what their call volume is at that time. And it's wonderful. And I've seen they also have a Facebook user group. Yep. Uh, how much do you use that? You know, I, I read through the posts and a lot of times somebody new will be posting something and, and even we can comment on it to help someone. So not necessarily does it have to come from AP Laser. A lot of times they do pipe in and, and give some insight as well, but it's kind of nice when you can bounce ideas off of other people that are running the same equipment as you are. Well, thank you, Jenny. There's obviously all kinds of things we can do with the AP Laser, and it's only limited by your imagination. Now, check out this American flag. This is going to look awesome once we wipe it down. You can do all kinds of personalization, car stuff, other stuff. Check them out at aplaser.com slash TV. There's a special discount for Motorhead Garage viewers. This is Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, and we'll be right back.